testing a Back to the Future MPU on the day after we learned that Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac passed at the age of 79. May she rest in peace. She was a beautiful singer. So let's test this MPU. Yeah, we're gonna have these sounds. That's enough. They can't beat Christine McBee. Display working properly. Switch test and it did have a problem with the column one, I think the client said. So let's go through all of the switches. I'll go through the diagonal. And that is working properly. Lamp test. Data East lamp test, rows, columns, and I'm going to skip this part, coil test, or this is flasher test, now coil test, and while that's going through I'll test the special solenoids, switch inputs, and this one didn't fire when I had the board on the bench for the first time. And the reason was that there was a missing 2N4401 pre-driver. The tip 102 was fine, so I suspect that somebody just scavenged the 4401. And here are the special solenoids being driven by the CPU. And you can see those are working just fine. We will skip that part. So on this CPU, I have installed NVRAM, like I do on every CPU that comes through here, unless asked for by the, the client to specifically not. This 470 microfarad cap on the um, input power for five volts I replaced. This cap is responsible for the reset section, so I replaced it. And here's the transistor that was failed in the switch matrix. And here's the transistor that was missing in the special solenoid section. He's good to go. Thank you so much for sending it.